they find a way to put, you know, keep you healthy, but put weight on you. Right. They did that. Okay, uh, Fort Jackson, um, how did you travel there? That was a bus also. A bus, okay. Mm -hmm. And what did you do? That, and this was your advanced infantry that's training? That's advanced infantry. Okay. That was infantry training is what that okay. was. Yeah. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. And they had infantry at, at Jackson? Yep. Oh, did they? Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. All right. And then how long were you there? Eight weeks. Eight weeks? Mm -hmm. did, did you volunteer for infantry? Or was that No, it was kind of like the, uh, well, if we want to go back a little bit, you know, I mean, when I signed up, I, I knew I wanted to go into Special Forces. Okay. 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 They would not guarantee me anything, mm -hmm. but they said that if you go Special Forces, you need to go infantry at your primary MOS. Okay, and that's when you'll get tested and see if you meet the qualifications for special forces. Oh, okay. So you know, prior to enlistment, that was my my you know, what I had to do. That's what the army suggested that I do, and then you know, so I went to Jackson, went through infantry training, and uh, that's when I went through the uh, quali qualification examinations for special forces and to find out if I was qualified or not. Okay. okay. All right. So infantry training. This is you. Uh, this is like in the, in the dead of winter by this time. Like you can go about in October, uh, November. Yeah, yeah it was. The, I think I believe it was. It was uh, December, and January, yeah. something like that. Okay. But what, what did you find unique about this infantry training? You, 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 um, did you find anything hard, or, or obviously you were in, you were one of the better soldiers at, yeah. at your age group? Yeah. No, so you know you, it wasn't. I don't think it was any more difficult. And the physical part of it was wasn't as strenuous, I don't mm -hmm. think, you know, they, we did PT, but, you know, we didn't have to uh, uh, pass a test, mm -hmm. you know, you know, mm -hmm. halfway through or anything. Mm -hmm. you know? uh, it was more along the lines of, uh, you know, basic infantry, you know, map reading and, mm -hmm. and uh, mm -hmm. things like that for infantry. And, and they, a lot more emphasis on our, our, our shooting and, and, mm -hmm. and the type of weapons we shot. Now, you know, infantry you just shot, at that time was an M14. Okay. You know, mm -hmm. by the time you get to infantry school, you're learning, you know, shoot bazookas and mm -hmm. M60 machine, machine guns and oh, okay. Christy Cal's and mm -hmm. you know, you're, you're, you're broadening your, mm -hmm. your background in, in different infantry stuff. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. came a little bit more detail. So. Right, mm -hmm. right. Being out, being out in the cold, is that, do you recall that being a, a detriment? No, no, that wasn't cold for me. No, okay. Cold was Michigan. You know? oh, okay. <laughs> December and January down there was probably, right. you know, 40, 50 degrees, maybe yeah. 30 at night or something. Yeah. But, you know, Jackson was. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's I forgot you in South Carolina. Yeah. yeah. Yes. Okay. Did what, don't, don't recall it being an issue. Okay. Did you have many of your uh, basic members, basic training? Company members of you know the the one place. guy Bob Jakey his name was mm -hmm. he was from the east side he managed to you know mm -hmm. uh, end up in uh, in Jackson with me okay. okay and we ended up in the same company mm -hmm. I think we were in the same platoon but we were in the same company okay okay all right and let's say just eight weeks uh, toward getting toward the end of your your eight weeks of, of AIT you say you were you were Testing you, you were tested to see whether or not you could go to the next step as far as becoming a special. No, force. there was a there was a uh, at that time they sent special forces recruiters there. Mm -hmm. Okay, I mean at, at that time they were looking for you know guys to to go into special forces. All right, so uh, my recruiter here in Michigan told me that when I got to Jackson mm -hmm. during my training there would be a time set aside for me to. Uh, meet with these recruiters from the special forces, and that is when you would, um, you know, uh, go through the their qualifying tests and okay. see if you would have meet it. So it wasn't part of my infantry training and so over. It was, you know, completely separate of that. Okay. So it was just a matter of whether I had enough, you know, knowledge and you know, physical aspects of being able to go into the special forces okay. training. So. Okay. So, so obviously you did? Yeah, I okay. did. They, okay. You know, they give you, you know, I don't remember what the tests were called or anything like that, but they just they just gave you a battery of tests mm -hmm. to determine mm -hmm. maybe what what area of the special forces you were going to. Mm -hmm. You know, if you were, you know, if you showed some, a lot of knowledge with medical or something, you might be 
go into the medical field mm -hmm. or the engineering field mm -hmm. or the infantry field, not the infantry, but the communication mm -hmm. side of it and stuff. So I ended up in the communications. Okay. That's where I ended up. Okay. All right. Um, so this was determined before you left Jackson? I mean, before Yeah, absolutely, because if it wasn't, I mean, I could have gone to airborne training, but you can't be Special Forces qualified without being airborne qualified. Right. right. Okay. Mm -hmm. So, if I had not passed it, I probably I would have ended up going to airborne school anyway. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. So I knew what my next assignment was going to be, one way or the other. Once okay. I finished infantry school, I mm -hmm. was going to jump school. Okay. 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 And then when you pass jump school, then you end up in in uh, Special Forces training. Okay. So, Okay, so now your next step was Fort Benning. Fort Benning. Okay. Did you come back home after Jackson nope. and you went straight nope. straight to Fort Benning? Nope. Okay. Nope. And clearly you went by bus there, I'm sure. Yep. <laughs> it was right down It's there. a short trip right. from there, yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. So now you're uh, at Benning. What was the first thing you had to do at, at Benning once you got there? At, uh, but you, you got your new address and all yeah. that stuff with Yeah, well, you thought basic training was tough. And, and Airborne sergeants, they, they, they're, they treat you hard, you know. They, they sort of, yeah, yeah, they, they sort of lay it on. I guess. Yeah, yeah, they like to mess with you, you know. They want to weed out the, the weak ones, I guess, mm -hmm. you know. They so mm -hmm. they, they work you hard. A lot of physical stuff, push ups, uh, you know, screaming in your face, you mm -hmm. know, mm -hmm. trying to make you feel bad or whatever, you know. But uh, that was just, that, that was just part of it, you know. And you, you expected it, and you knew it, you know, mm -hmm. you'd probably seen it all over in, in different mm -hmm. aspects of whether television or whatever, yeah. you know. Okay. All right, so now you, you've gotten situated at Benning and you're getting uh, your address and you figure out where you're sleeping and all that stuff. Uh, what was the, how long was this airborne training? Just uh, three weeks. Three weeks, okay. Mm -hmm. Well, and you obviously, you, you seem like you were in pretty good shape and you were gung-ho. What mm -hmm. was the hardest part about this, this that, that, that stands out of your mind? The hardest part mm -hmm. that, that 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 made you adjust more. You had to rather you you said you had an aptitude for for this stuff. You yeah, were in the military, yeah. but but obviously sometimes in, in life, you know, little things make you you know focus a little more, a little yeah, harder. Yeah. Well, uh, I, I I guess it would have been would have been the, um, the 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 physical side of it. It was. For lack of better terms, butt kicking. You mm -hmm. know, I mean, they, they, you know, you, when you done, when you done, uh, if you were running, you were doing push-ups. You were usually doing it with some sort of a pack on your back or mm -hmm. something. You know, mm -hmm. or just uh, it was very, very strenuous. Okay. Know? And then they tried to break it, is what mm -hmm. they wanted to do. But right. uh, and uh, it uh, just reinforced you, I guess, is what it did. You know, mm -hmm. if you can get through this, you can probably get through anything. Right, right. So, right. so did you have any other friends with you no, that you knew? No, I don't call anybody, yeah. anybody okay. in dumb school. Okay, all right. All right. Um, uh, your first jump, what was, what was the first jump like? Uh, the first one was, uh, uh, what what everybody termed and it was true mm -hmm. was the easiest. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. You're in you're in you're in the, they call them sticks and you're in the stick and you're just you know you're just being pushed along. You you ain't no way you're gonna get out of this. You're going out the door, but you don't know what to expect. You know mm -hmm. you got you're probably pumped and everything. Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. It's the second, third, and fourth jumps because then you say, oh wow, I, now I know what I'm getting into. You know this is look kind of spooky. You know. Yeah. You know but you, but then you, it became fun. Yeah. You know okay. it was a it was a rush. Okay. It was it was it was it was uh, very exciting. The, the night jumps were difficult. Mm -hmm. You know, I mean, um, uh, you had to pay a lot of attention. In in, in the shoots back in those days weren't real stirrable, stirrable mm -hmm. as they called. Were they the round ones? Yeah, just a round shoot. Mm -hmm. You know, and boy, if you didn't pay any attention, and you know, you didn't get yourself going in the right direction with the wind, you could land backwards instead of sideways or front, you know, which was ideally you would want to land on your sides, you know, so you mm -hmm. can, what they call the PLF, you know, mm -hmm. parachute landing fall, mm -hmm. get roll and get back mm -hmm. up. Well, if you're doing that backwards, you ain't going to do it very good. Right. So, so you know, uh, 
the night jumps were difficult because you, it was it was hard to determine you know a direction where mm -hmm. daytime jumps were a little bit 